squad how is everyone doing today and welcome back to another vlog so yesterday was june 6 and it was full of surprises yesterday we didn't know when it was going to rain i kept on looking at the radar on the weather network and this other app that i've been using called accuweather and i've been looking at the entire day the radar, the weather, see when it's gonna rain. It started raining around 5.30ish, and by 6.30, it was actually pretty clear, and I was able to go to my engagement that I always go to every Monday, and it was awesome. You know, it was wet, but it, we still did it, so. <laughs> So this morning I went to Wendy's to get a breakfast sandwich. They were running an offer for a $1.99 breakfast sandwich. I couldn't say no to that, right? That's a phenomenal deal. And I also filmed a review. You guys will have to check out that full video review when it will be released. I'll definitely let you guys know in the vlog or definitely follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll let you guys know when things are coming. Today's review, it will be on the Biebs Brew from Tim Hortons. You guys all know a couple months ago, they had teamed up with Justin Bieber to come up with some Tim Biebs. You know, they were three Tim Biebs, the white chocolate fudge. I think there was a birthday cake waffle. And then my favorite was a sour cream chocolate chip. Well, they teamed up with Justin Bieber again. This time it's on a cold brew. It's called Biebs Brew. And it's a French vanilla cold brew. And it's supposedly steeped for 16 hours and it's really good. I definitely like this one over the original vanilla cream cold brew they had originally. This one, the French vanilla Justin Bieber cold brew is way better. And you guys will have to check out my full video review and what my thoughts were. The only thing that I was disappointed about it was the cup. I was supposed to get a Biebs brew cup. I only got a Tim Hortons cup. Like that's quite disappointing, Tim Hortons. I was kind of hoping for my Biebs brew cup <laughs> to add to my uh, collection with my box, the Tim Biebs box that I kept when they first released back in November. I still remember that because it was the month that I got my tooth taken out. And I remember that because a couple days after my tooth removed, it was a Tim Biebs. And I'm actually quite surprised I actually filmed that review because I still had stitches at that time. And uh, I made it through the whole entire review. So I was glad, but I'm super glad I was able to actually try Tim Biebs this time without worrying about any stitches. <laughs> And I actually tried the Tim Beebs with the cold brew in the review. So it's a definite must watch. You guys can probably can tell it's getting a little sunny. It's getting a little sunnier, right? <laughs> I like, I, like, I got to do thumbnails, right? So it's getting a little sunny, which is good. Yesterday before the storm hit, it was kind of like damped and kind of humid. So you definitely knew something was coming. And I think the storm kind of gave us that cool weather. But from my understanding, it's supposed to warm up throughout this week. So I'm hoping because I'm loving the hot weather, especially when I have an air conditioning. <laughs> so have you guys been loving this weather? And what sort of weather do you guys like through the summer seasons? Do you like like a cool weather? Do you like a hot and sticky weather? What do you guys like? And have you guys tried the Tim's cold brew if you guys have what do you guys think do you guys like it do you guys think there should be some improvements made what do you guys think what is your thoughts and what is your review on it and what would you guys give it between one and five or whatever rating you guys would give it would you guys do it at one to five or one to ten what would your rating be on the new tim's cold brew i should say justin cold brew not tim's justin tim <laughs> What would you guys give on the Biebs cold brew between 1 and 10, 1 and 5? What would you guys give your rating? Let's go inside because I made a cold brew myself with some Stokes coffee, some Stokes cold brew with s'mores creamer from International Delight because I've been hooked on the s'mores. It's been really good. I really love it. It tastes like summer. It's definitely giving you that summer vibe just like the pumpkin spice kind of gives you that fall vibe. The s'mores is giving you that summer vibe and I'm loving it. So it's 3.30 right now and the review is scheduled for today. I actually uploaded about an hour and a half ago. Today's review will be on the Tim Hortons 
the Beebs Cold Brew. I think that's what it's called. The French Vanilla Beebs Cold Brew. So hope you guys are all excited to check it out. If you guys haven't yet checked out that review, link will be in the top of the description. Definitely go and check it out. See what my thoughts were on the cold brew. So tonight I have another engagement to go to, so I'm probably gonna be making some ribs on a bun like I said to you guys earlier. Ribs on a bun is just simply like boneless ribs, like they sell at m and Meat Shop or m and Market, Food Market, I think that's what's called. What it used to be called, it was m and Meat Shop. Now it's called, I think it's m and Farm Market, something like that. So I bought some ribs on a bun or boneless riblets, is that? That's what it's called, I think. So I'm gonna have that tonight for dinner. Something simple, quick, and uh, something that uh, we can just cook easy and just head out, you know, instead of being in a hurry, you know, take our time, you know, eat and then head out. So I'm outside now and I'm about to grill. I just turned on my barbecue and I got my rib on a bun, or rib on a bun, riblets. Like these are what I was talking about. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had these. I got these from, like I said, M&M's, meat market or is it not meat market i keep getting confused with that i think it's m m's farm market something like that you don't take my word for it i'll have to look it up and and let you guys know in the comments section below or in the description but i got these from m m's they're 24 or 23 or 24.99 they used to be like 18 17 18 dollars they went up about five dollars in like uh not even a year or so inflation but that's fine so because they're still good i like i love these riblets like boneless riblets they kind of remind me of the mcrib from mcdonald's so i'm gonna do that and let my grill preheat and then we'll uh, put these on the grill so i got my boneless riblets onto the barbecue i actually cleaned my top grill rack the other day I'll be doing the grates very soon I'm just uh, kind of looking into a product that I can use. I've actually looked into Scrub Daddy, I think that's what it's called, and uh, I'm not sure if that will work, but we'll have to see. So it is, I think it's about eight o'clock, and I just came back from my engagement. So now I'm actually grilling again on the barbecue. There's uh, these meatless uh, burger patties that I picked up at M&M's also yesterday, and I wanted to try them out, like a vegan meatless, burger so i wanted to try them out because i only had one rib on the bun and <laughs> that was really good so i was still kind of hungry so i figured let's make those meatless burgers that i picked up yesterday at m m so i'm gonna cook them on the barbecue and try them on the vlog because i didn't try the rib on a bun on the vlog yes you've probably seen a white fuzzy but i didn't try the rib on a bun on the vlog but i'm gonna try the meatless burger on the vlog so they're looking good. I mean, for something being meatless, they look like exactly like ground beef. I'll show you guys. Look at that. That looks like exactly like a burger patty, doesn't it? I couldn't tell a difference. Look at those clouds. It's a beautiful evening, especially with these past two days of nothing but rain. Look at that cloud. Looks like a storm cloud. So while I was grilling, it's funny because that's what I was looking at the clouds for. Because while I was grilling, I felt like a raindrop on me. Wasn't sure if it was going to rain. I hope not because I think we've had enough rain, don't you guys think? Like, come on, Mother Nature, give us some nice weather. So here is my burger with some ketchup. So this is totally just vegan. So let's chow down. I'm not sure if the lighting is better over here or over there, but we'll try this. The meatless burger from M&M's. Actually quite surprising, that's actually pretty good. I can't really tell a difference actually. It does look like meat a little bit. I think it needs a little bit more ketchup. But other than that, this is good. It 
big flavors too. Wow, I don't know what's in here. I should look at the ingredients because it's actually pretty good. If you want like a meatless option, definitely go to M&M's and check out their meatless burgers. I'll have to show you guys as soon as I get inside, but this is really phenomenal. Five out of five. So the meatless burger that I ate was these. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. If you guys want to pause it, look at this meatless burger. And they're a soy-based burger seasoned with onion, garlic, and our special blend of spices. So it's a soy base. So it's like a soybean base, which they're really good. They actually taste exactly like a burger. I wouldn't have known uh, if someone had given me this and didn't tell me it was vegan i would have thought it was a burger so these are that's just how good they are so definitely if you ever go to m m's m m's food market there food market you guys can see that so if you ever go to the m m's food market definitely get yourself some meatless burgers they're totally vegan you guys can see that definitely my recommendation five out of five also picked up this maple cheesecake and it's really good but it's lacking in maple flavor. I mean, look the picture. The picture looks phenomenal. It looks like it's really good. And I mean, it is, it is good, but it's lacking of maple flavoring. So what I would suggest, if you ever decide to get one of these, add some maple syrup. I'm gonna eat a slice with you guys and I'm gonna show you guys, I add some maple syrup because you know, you gotta have maple syrup. And I use Love Sweetness some maple syrup, the local maple syrup that I always pick up like every once in a while. I still have like three bottles in my fridge. So I'm stocked up with maple syrup for a while, but I definitely add some maple syrup to this maple cheesecake. It'll be a total game changer. Without it, it would get like a three out of five. With it, total solid five out of five. So with maple syrup, five out of five, without a three out of five. Still pretty good, but not as good as what I was thinking. Cheesecake isn't big. Like we already ate this. I mean, me, my girlfriend and my grandma, we had most of this, but I'm gonna have a little bit more and I'll save the other one for my girlfriend. We're gonna add some maple syrup. So I got the cheesecake. I just added some maple syrup. You guys probably can see it. It's leaking all over the side and it's really good. Let's try it. <laughs> I swear by it, and, I, and I'm gonna say this to you guys, you get yourself a maple cheesecake from M&M's Food Market, add some maple syrup. Little game changer, I'm not lying, you guys should try it. I'm not sure if it's because the maple syrup, the extra, just adds so much to it. Total name changer. I, I, maple syrup works so good on everything. Cheesecake, creamy, smooth, rich, so good. I'm not even lying, it is phenomenal. Total game changer. You gotta try it. Also have these M&M Food Market Strawberry Fruit Bar Limited Edition. These are the strawberry fruit bars, 40% uh, real strawberries, and they look like this. Let's try these as well. I'm trying a whole bunch of M&M Food Market things in the vlog. I think I'll just name this M&M's Food Market Vlog. <laughs> Let's try this. So look at that, looks good. Oh, this is so good. Oh man. Oh, so icy, so flavorful and strawberry. That strawberry, wow. This is a definite treat on a hot summer day. Wow, these are so good. Definitely pick these up. These are the strawberry. I think I got a tropical one in the freezer. I think I'm gonna try that tomorrow's vlog.
make the vlogs a little interesting, right? Try different products. This is so good. Strawberry fruit bar. And they taste like so much like strawberry. They taste like real strawberries, not like the artificial strawberries and popsicles. This actually tastes like real strawberries in here. A refreshing treat made with 40% real strawberries. 40% 40, 40 may not be that big, but when you taste this, 40% makes a huge difference. Only 100 calories, zero grams of fat, 22 grams of sugar. So it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm just gonna call it a day because I'm getting really tired. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you guys did, show your support, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to ring all notifications so you never miss a vlog. Really consider following me on Instagram. That's where I let you guys know what's coming up next. I do wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Definitely share this vlog with your friends and family and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs>